revisit this topic about camels, food, and uh, <laughs> camel piss, which is stupid. But that's the Muslim idea. Because I was reading and, and I, I was really shocked. I found so much new material on it. But I just got, well, I'm going to do maybe five, seven minutes, and that's it. Okay, good afternoon, good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Bender, and today we're doing a, a number of little short videos for the next few minutes. The first one, we're, we're visiting an, a topic which every Christian should know about, be aware of, and also Muslims should give us a good answer. This is the question of camels, uh, animals, and uh, the digestive materials that come out of the uh, uh, body waste of animals. The Bible tells us when, I think it's Deuteronomy, where God says when the Israeli armies go out to fight a war, they should dig, they should dig latrines so that they have a place where they can actually take away the body waste. And it's far away from the camp so that you're not polluted, you don't bring disease on the rest of the soldiers. And that's God's instruction to the Israelites almost 5,000 years ago. Okay, so God is interested in good medicine. The Lord Jesus, the greatest healer the world has ever seen because he knows the physiology of the human body, our bones, our skeleton, and what makes a human being a human being. So when the Lord Jesus uh, sees a leper, he says, you're healed. And the leper then has to go and visit the Kohanim, in other words, the Jewish priests, because the priest was not just a priest about animal sacrifices, but the Jewish priest is also a medical doctor. So the Lord Jesus was actually saying that you go to that medical doctor, the, high, the priest, and he's going to give you a certificate that says you're clean. And then you can come to the rest of the camp of Israel and live there. Because if you're a leper, you have to live at least two miles outside the camp of Israel. And that means you, left in, you lived in isolation. Uh, people would visit you, but they had to be careful. They wouldn't touch you, otherwise they thought, a communicable disease, electricity will come to you as well, right? So the Lord understood the pain of isolation. So it has always amazed me when you read the New Testament, especially in the Luke's Gospel, because Dr. Luke was a medical doctor. And he talks about 10 lepers who came, and only two actually gave thanks to the Lord after they'd been healed. The other eight just, yeah, yeah we're healed. Ungrateful hearts is another issue the Bible talks about. The Bible says God gave them over to reprobate mind, because they were ungrateful to the things of God. So when God gives us the sunshine, the rain, the water, the grass, everything, we should say thank you, Lord, as much as we can, because God is so good. As simple as that. If you're a parent and your children never say thank you to you, what, what kind of children are those, right? So God is our Father. So we should we say thank you, Daddy, in heaven, that you're gracious, you gave us the food, the sunshine, the water, everything. So, we come to this issue about the Muslims and their uh, camels. Now, in the, New, in the Old Testament, Moses is given a code, which is the, uh, in the Hebrew called the kosher. Food that are clean and unclean. So, food that are clean, they, they have certain characteristics or traits, okay? Uh, so, unclean foods include the camel because of the special hoofs that they have. Okay, the hoofs of a camel right there. So, and that makes the camel unclean. So you're not allowed to eat camel food, camel meat, but Muslims eat this guy. And they think it's okay. So on one hand, the Muslims tell us that they obey Moses because he's a wonderful prophet of God. And yet they disobey when Moses says, don't eat camels. Secondly, we read in this chapter here, uh, Surah Al-Bukhari, volume seven. He says, the climate al Medina did not suit some people, so Muhammad ordered them to proceed along with his shepherds, that is the camels, and drink their milk, good, and also drink their urine. Isn't that shocking? How can a camel urine sub, sub, substance be good for you? First of all, you're not supposed to eat camel food, so don't even touch what comes out of it, and then you're supposed to drink the camel urine? That is stupidity, okay? This guy is a very famous Islamic scholar, Mr. Zakir Naik. Zakir is actually a Hebrew name, Zechariah. It's not, it's, it's not Islam. <laughs> but anyway, he actually advocates drinking camel urine. Shocking, right? Saudi Arabia, the government shut down in 2015 
a Muslim shop selling Islamic camel urine drinks, right? And then the owner filled the bottles of his own urine. So he filled it up and then sold it. As, yeah, it's legal camel urine, but it's actually coming out of his body. And the, and the, ink, the, the Saudi Arabians is actually buying it. Until suddenly the Saudi Arabia made an investigation and discovered, Hey, what are you doing? Supposed to sell camel urine, not man's urine. But they're both wrong anyway, right? Now, you can actually buy camel urine. There's a website, there's a Muslim website that's actually selling it. It's 25 euros. That's almost like 22 British pounds for a carton of camel urine, right? Now, this whole thing makes us think there's something radically wrong in a religion that says you're supposed to drink camel piss, right? Remember in Ramadan, the Muslims are overeating day by day, right? They, they say they're fasting from, say, 6, p.m., 6 o'clock in the morning until 6 at night, and then afterwards they go on a binge, and they go get duck and fried chicken. You find them in there loading up on food. So, you know, the stomachs are so full of food that when they go to the hospitals, like the one in Prey Street here, here right here in West London, right? The medical doctors, many are not Christians, they get upset because they say, here we go again, it's Ramadan. And the Muslims are coming your big bellies because of stuff food inside them and yet they're telling us they're fasting when the Lord Jesus fasted he did a fast of 40 days and 40 nights no food no water Moses fasted twice 40 days 40 nights no food no water Elijah fasted 40 days 40 nights no food no water and if you want to look at a modern example I know a man who actually fasted 30 days, 30 nights, no food, no water. Okay, sorry, he had water, not, no, but no food. And he, a Christian guy, okay, that I know very well. So it, can be, it is possible to do 30 days, 30 nights. If you want to do 40 days, 40 nights, make sure you're doing it the way God wants you to do it, but it is possible again. Moses, Elijah, King Jesus, done it, did it. Why didn't Muhammad do a fast of 30 days, 30 nights, no food, no water for 30 days straight? Okay? The second point is, the Lord Jesus never drank camel urine. <laughs> it'll be disgusting. And it'll be disgusting to me too. So why is he actually saying it's okay to drink it? Because their leader said it's okay. Now, here's another problem. In Romans chapter 14, it actually tells us the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. Okay? But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Right? So the kingdom of God is not about food, it's not about drinking, camel urine, or whatever, but it's about joy in the Holy Spirit. But remember, Muslims don't have joy in the Holy Spirit because they don't know their Holy Spirit at all. So they got a problem. So a religion that comes around and says, follow us, and then it tells you drink camel piss, camel urine. Uh, that is not God's way at all. It, it beggars the imagination just because this is crazy. And yet they're selling this. It's a multi-billion pound industry on gullible people, right? Uh, and you should be saying, no way, man. This is wrong. This is evil. The United Nations actually made a, actually told the Islamic people, they said, don't drink camel urine. <laughs> They don't want to listen to good advice. Okay, so they got a problem. But of Jesus, the kingdom of God is not about eating and drinking. It's about righteousness in God's way. So we recommend Jesus Christ has never done any of these rubbish things. He is truly the way, the life, and the truth. Amen. Thank you. Right. <laughs>